<coughs> After what happened this week at HMNY, the movie Pat Stock, they first I already made one video on this, but that's about midweek before some new information came out that I didn't know at the time, so I just wanted to update this. I'm not sure how much longer this is going to be in business, but it's going to be really interesting this week on whether or not we still have a movie pass sometime in the middle of the week or at the end of the week or whatever is going on with this thing. So, I feel like that, well, I heard that Thursday night and Friday the movie pass cars got turned off and then by the end day on Friday, Friday, by the time I got off of work, the movie pass had been turned back on in the reverse stock split. We all know about that. It went from $22 a share and it ended the market yesterday around $2 a share. So somehow they managed to lose about $45 million in about four days, which is downright ridiculous. But I can only sit there and say that the reason why the movie pass was even turned back on was because the CEO went out there and ran some deal where he could be able to uh, get it turned back on for like five million dollar loan at a high interest rate which is really stupid when you figure that this is supposed to be a publicly traded company and that they, everybody keeps talking about how the CEO is terrible and the CEO is terrible is all the CEO's fault but I mean, I can kind of see maybe a little bit on that, but it's still a publicly traded company, and this company's stock's been going down for months now, and none of the um, shareholders who are supposed to be investors stepped up to actually try to push the stock any during that time anyway, and we've been getting choked out by the um, shorts and so forth. We all know this, okay? So anybody who would have actually been an investor on this or put money on this should have already known this this stock's been going down since $38 a share and now the shareholders stepped up to sit there and try to be able to um, put enough in there to be able to, um, to outdo the shorts okay so you can blame the CEO all you want to but it comes down to the shareholders and the subscribers and the subscribers know that they wanted this subscription so they could be able to go see a movie at a movie theater knowing that it's only ten dollars a month everybody knows that that somehow that how how you gonna be able to pay for movies that cost twelve thirteen dollars a movie ticket for ten dollars a month and every movie subscriber we got went out there and milked it for everything it was worth okay so this has to fall on the shareholders and the subscribers just as equally as it would a CEO. I understand maybe the CEO and the top management has some credit to take for it, but at the same time, the subscribers and the <coughs> shareholders have to take some type of credit for this too. And especially after the CEO came out on Monday and sat there and said he needed more money and that stock, he got the $50 million he needed. And on uh, Tuesday it was a $22 stock and in the four days the shareholders allowed that stock to go all the way down to two dollars a share and the general public and the subscribers and everybody involved in this out of the entire country the United States of America we allowed a $22 stock to go to two dollar stock in four days and nobody was buying that thing to slow it down somewhat I mean come on I mean three million subscribers and you pay ten dollars a month you do the math on that the, the, to be able to stay listed and not get delisted and be able to keep everything going you need fifty million dollars if everybody if you had three million people three million people put in twenty bucks a piece to the share price all of a sudden you got a sixty million dollar um, net worth in that share price so if you are truly an investor and you got these people who are talking about having thousands of dollars invested in the stock and they lost it, whatever, well, okay. But if you're an investor and you don't understand how the thing works and you know your company is struggling, then you should be one of the main people out there that's going to do the math and sit there and say, well, if I watch three movies on my movie pass a month, I'll pay them $10 a month for it. 
but for the other two movies that obviously didn't get covered on it, I'm going to take it out of pocket and I'm going to buy shares in it, okay? And if enough people sit there and thought that way, we could have kept this company going, but apparently the subscriber base and the um, shareholders all were just out um, to try to get something for nothing and just thought they were going to be able to sit there and buy a stock and it was supposed to go up a thousand percent and everybody was going to live happily ever after. And instead it didn't and everybody jumped right on being that short, which shows that, okay, they're not real investors. And if you're somebody who's one second being a, a long on it, a bull on it, and the next second you're ready to sit there and short it and be against it, then you're not an investor and you didn't really care about the company anyway and you didn't care about the movie pass anyway. When some of us just got tired of sitting back paying $13 a movie ticket and we thought it was a really good idea to have a subscriber-based company that could be able to let us go see movies once in a while by having to pay $13 to go see a movie. When I sit there and figure that Regal, when I have my Regal points, before Regal points is used, it costs me $23. $23 to buy a Coke and a bag of popcorn. After I use my Regal points, it still costs me $15 to sit there and get a bag of popcorn. A bag of a Coke and a bag of popcorn. So even after the Regal points, I'm still paying more money than what it costs to actually watch the movie. And I could be even be in 3D. So this was a good idea, but the shareholders and the um, subscribers just didn't step up the way they should have. So you can keep on bitching and keep on complaining about the CEO and the top management being sorry. But when you point a finger, you got four other fingers pointing at yourself, too. So I'm about tired of hearing everybody talk about and try to talk down that CEO about how horrible he is when the shareholders and subscribers need to take some credit for it, too. And if you actually cared about the movie pass and you actually wanted to be able to keep this thing going, then people should have sat there and supported it. People chose not to support it. So... That's not on the CEO, that's on the American people. So I guess the American people deserve to sit there and pay out $15 a movie ticket and $24 for a bag of popcorn and a Coke at some Chinese ran AMC, okay? Because nobody wanted to actually do the right thing and actually support the one company and the one CEO. He wanted to make it better for us. So however you feel about this is up to you. Maybe we go out of business this week. It don't look really that good right now. But it was a good run while we had it. So, um, peace out.